Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So, my only variable in this equation is x, so that's obviously the variable which I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first write my equation down here. So I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by x to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 over x to the power of 2. And x to the power of 2, x to the power of 2, these two cancel out. So now I'm going to be left with x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is going to equal x to the power of x minus 2, which is equal to 1. Now, I can take the ln or natural log on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln of 1. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. And this property is very useful because notice how now x is an exponent. And in this state, it's really hard to solve for x. But now, using this property, I can move it to the front. And now it's an actual term, and it's much easier to solve for it. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. And ln of 1 is the same thing as 0. So I have x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. Now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I also have ln of x is equal to 0, meaning 2 equals 0. And all I have to do to solve this is to add 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, for my second equation, I have ln of x equals 0. And this is basically asking ln of what is equal to 0. And, well, we already know ln of 1 is equal to 0, but what if we didn't know this? Well, what we can do is take e to the power of both sides. So I have e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. And e and ln, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So now that I have two solutions for x, what I'm going to do is check to see if these are right. So my equation is x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And let's first start by checking 1. So if x equals 1, I have 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. 1 to the power of 1 is 1, and 1 to the power of 2 is also 1, so this is right. And now I'm going to check x equals 2. So I have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I get 4 equals 4, and this is right as well. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 8 to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. 
So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log a to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4, and I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two threes cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simple method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which 
now it makes it much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.